Hello out there all you awesome people. I'm going to show you a bunch of ways to set up a 3 to 1 mechanical advantage and use it for whatever you want. Let's do it. I'm going to do my best to explain this as simply as I can. So the basics of every 3 to 1 system, you know, the load, in this case I'm just using a backpack. From that load, I go to my anchor, at my anchor redirect and most likely some kind of progress capture in this very basic example I'm using a Prusik coming from a rig plate from that redirect progress capture I'm gonna go to a beaner which is hooked with the tractor the tractor is just above my load tractor is going to pull the load and I'm going to pull this strand I'm going to pull the tractor which is going to give me the mechanical advantage up there so as I pull the tractor the system feeds through that redirect and you're going to need to keep this loose as that tractor pulls, gonna keep making progress. As, as my tractor gets towards my redirect. So I've pulled it as far as it'll go, my tractor. Tighten up. My Prusik, which is my progress capture. So now I can let my tractor go. My Prusik will grab my load line, keep my load tight. So then all I have to do is take my tractor, slide my tractor back down my load line, start the process all over again. Pull my tractor, give my three to one advantage progress capture loose until I get my load whatever that is to wherever I want it so the first upgrade that I would go for on that last system would be at my rig plate I would replace that straight carabiner with a pulley and everything else is the same progress capture is a Prusik tractor down here still a Prusik it's always going to work essentially in the same way, but when I pull for my mechanical advantage and I'm going to feed through my pulley instead of across, instead of across a beaner this time, pulling that, pulling that load, trying not to let that, try not to let that prospect get fed into my pulley. As you can see the progress capture of a Prusik is a bit of a pain in the ass. If you've got another person with you it's a lot easier obviously. But yeah, so replace the beaner with the pulley. Next little upgrade I would do on the system coming from my load up to my rig plate now have the pulley redirect coming down to my tractor at my tractor i've replaced the carabiner for a pulley now this roll lock is set up in the pulley system That's a pulley. so again i'm just going to pull that load line pull the load line it's going to feed now through my pulley two pulleys progress caps with that Pain in the ass Prusik. And I'm gonna get a really nice three to one advantage on the system now with two high quality. Another upgrade coming from our load. We've now replaced that stupid Prusik with a basic, which will allow our rope to go in one direction as we make progress. So a good little progress capture up through our pulley 
back down to our tractor. In this case is a Prusik with a rolling lock in the pulley mode. So now we pull that, beads, pull that, pull that, feeds nicely through our pulley, second pulley. basic slide easily and then once we get our tractor to our basic our load line stays locked Let's slide our tractor down we can make more progress in the system Thanks. now we can really make this fancy pants system start to shine from our load, in this case my bag, coming up. Progress capture is now basic. Going to a nice pulley. Coming back. Our second pulley. But our second pulley is now, instead of being connected to a Prusik, now connected to a Jumar or a hand jammer, upside down, so that when we pull our load line bites into our load line, gives it a three to one advantage, basic, progress, capturing all that progress that we're making with our three to one. So now we're getting to the really expensive setup coming from our load, replaced all the rigging at my pulley with an industrial descender from the industrial descender which then will go to our pulley they are using our hand jammer as our tractor so again same thing we're going to pull that load load and feed our industrial descender the advantage in this case is so we lock our lock our ID off, the load line is now locked off. If we did have to let that load line out, we can use our industrial ascender to lower it. That's really the only advantage of this one because there's no pulley inside, it's just a straight redirect and smooth metal inside. Instead of using an ID, I have a guide belay set up in guide mode, so it's auto blocking. So from the load to the guide, that's auto blocking back down to my hand jammer tractor with the pulley on it. So I pull, so I pull my line. I'm probably going to have to pull the progress through that guide blade because it does not, does not feed through very nicely. But the beauty of it is, it is auto blocking. So that once I let my pull line go, this jams up for me. And make sure I don't lose that load down there. And the last Z Drag 3 to 1 system I'm going to show you today is my favorite. And this system goes as such from my load. feeds through that it's on top of a pulley inside there and once I stop pulling it has a cam system that it grabs from there gonna be hooked up my tractor is a nice light basic which is has a carabiner attached to Petzl pulley so as I pull that system at the pulley progress coming through my climb tack roll and lock until I get my 
tractor. Half a size I want to get it. Let the tension off my tractor. Slide my tractor back down. The climb tech keeps a hold of my progress. And I can keep on going. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Light. Easy. Efficient. My favorite. The only drawback to this system I would say would be that the roll and lock does not give you the ability to let out your tension like with the ID or in some ways with the guide belay. But I think if you're trying to get something up like a load or a extract a kayak, you're probably not going to want to let out progress anyways. So this is my favorite.